Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll be looking into uh, array in JavaScript. Alright, so an array is a collection of uh, ordered items that is an item that has sequence. For example, you can store, let's say, a list of food, store a list of users, you know, list of groceries in an array. And how do we do that? In order to create an array, of course, by now we know that we should be storing our data in a variable. So let's create a variable called uh, array of fruits. Okay. And we are going to assign that an array which has banana okay apple and let's say uh tomatoes don't mind I like banana all right so this is an example of array so in this array we are having banana we are having apple we are having tomato all right if you take note you see that they are in sequence one comes after the other and the type of data stored in this array are you know they are kind of the same so when you have a uh, scenario whereby you want to store a set of data of the same nature in order to be able to process them okay so array is your best shot now there are few things to uh, understand in this uh, syntax okay we already know that this is our variable name so if i want to access this array now i can console the log array of fruits and it will, give, it will give me what to give me this maybe we should just try that let's try that okay Okay, and then let's run. And here we are. We have banana, we have apple and tomatoes. Alright. So in this syntax again, uh there are a few things that we need to understand, and that is the concept of index, which is the position of an element in the array and its number. Alright, for instance now. This banana is at index 0. Okay, why it is the first one, first member of the array, or um, first member of the you know, array of fruits in this case. Okay, now, since this is the first member, of course, this is the second and this is the third, then we can assess the first member of the array by checking what let's you know what let's say array of fruits at index zero let's check which of the uh fruit is there wow that's banana so what's this saying it means that whenever you want to access any items or any um any any items in your array we are going to use its index to read that value out do we get so for example now i want to read the value that is at position one okay so we are going to use its index to access it and the first or just put this at the back of my dad any element, the first element of an array is having what index of zero, while the second one is having an index of one, okay, and so on and so forth. That means if you want to get the length of your array, it's going to be what? <clears throat> Let's check. Let's check. Let's check, okay. Uh, dot length so let's check the length property and 
term so it give us three okay so that means having three elements in there do you get so and since it's having three elements it means this is there for element one element two and element three and uh well we can now assess each of those elements by reading their words by reading their index so in this case banana is at index zero and is the first element apple is at index one as the second element white tomatoes is at index two and is the third element so in the next video we are going to explore different methods that is available on our array but before we do that you know i we have just cited an example of string as the element in the array right not only this we can you know we can store any form of data types in the array for example let's say uh let's say array of user for instance so comes array of users equals right so now what i want to do here is that we want to store users like we want to have more than one user in this array but each of those users is having what is having different properties that we want to store okay so how can we do that we can say let's say okay the first the first user we are going to have here is going to have a name a name i'm going to store it as alone then it's going to have is married going to set it to false then let's see its occupation occupation is what a front end engineer front oh, sorry front end engineer okay so now i can recreate this since i'm not having only alele as words as my user so let's just say name so i'll just use just use user two. Okay. Then is married. Set it to what? Set it to true. And uh, what else? Uh, occupation. Let's see. Set. Lecturer. So in this example, in this example, what are we doing? We are storing objects. By now, we know that anytime you see the um, colleague brackets, it means what? It means that's an object. So this object is having a name property whose value is what? An alulet. It's having its married property, which is a boolean. And for this guy, for this guy, it's what? What's going on? So, is married is set to false and occupation is our front end engineer. And the same thing goes for the user too. Alright? So, if you want to check this array now, so if you let's just copy and console.log oops sorry i forgot i'm not on official studio console.log what now 
array of users so so array of users gave us what it gave us the first one name is married understand now so you can store what you want to establish is you can store any form of data in your array it just depends on what you want to do that will tell you the way you are going to structure individual items in your array all right so in the next video we are going to explore different methods that is available for us uh, on array data types